Glory be to God in the highest. We praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. It is January the 4th, 2016. The time is 6.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I usually come in the morning and uh, come on YouTube and have a message for uh, all of you. And I try my very best. I do. I try my best to bring words of encouragement. But tonight... I'm discouraged and uh, I'm here that maybe you can lift me up in prayer and uh, bring me some encouragement. Very difficult. Uh, I've been out with the ministry all day today, early in the morning, and I want to talk about the church today, the church of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the one church where Jesus spoke and said, I will keep you from the time of trouble. That is to come upon the whole earth. The Philadelphia church. The bride. It's very difficult in the world today. As we look around. We see the church of Thyatira. Or the church of Laodicea. The church that uh, believes they're rich and in need of nothing. The prosperity gospel is running rampant in the world today. Then you got your church of idolatry. And uh, praying to statues. And praying to dead saints. And to Mary worship. And the. Uh, it's like the church is scattered and there are very few, very few that are actually truly really being disciples in the end days of Jesus Christ. Like I said, I've been out with the ministry today and it's very cold. It's going down to six degrees tonight and I'm discouraged. I'm a little bit tired as uh, I think we all are and uh, I do have very little strength and uh, tonight uh, I need a little bit of uh, encouragement. I watched a video this morning, gave me some encouragement uh, from Brother Jamie Stam on his channel, Stam Heating, and uh, uh, it's good to hear from him. I know he's been uh, off YouTube for uh, a few days, but it was good to hear. That's what we need more encouragement in the end days. I could come on here tonight and I could grab everyone's attention and do a video on uh, this standoff of the 100 and 150 uh, armed militia members uh, that have taken over this uh, federal compound and in defense of um, this father and son. I could talk about Barack Obama with his message today and his trying to grab the guns from uh, the American people, whatever would spark your interest. But I'm here as I'm led by the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. I'm really not here uh, for popularity, or I would change my whole criteria of all of my videos. I would just be on YouTube all day, boom, 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 pumping out whatever I thought your itching ears would want to hear. And that's what's sad. I've been out in the cold all day, and uh, it's very discouraging. I interviewed, and I was with him again today, a young Iraq war veteran by the name of uh, Jeff. I want to tell you a little bit about Jeff. We were able to take care of him the last couple of days. He is homeless. He's in the city of Flint. And he served this country in Iraq. And he was wounded. And he came home. His mother had passed away from... Uh, oh, I know. This isn't going to grab all of your attention. Because it's not a mega earthquake. And it's not a standoff uh, with militia members and it's not the uh, onset of martial law or the apocalypse but he came home from the war and his mother passed away of breast cancer and uh, he is now homeless living on the street but he's born again this is what I don't think a lot of people understand he's born again and here's the problem and I hear this far too often he came before his homelessness, he came from a very large church where I live in my community. There are big, well-to-do churches, mega churches, with all of the fancy sound equipment, in it, and uh, they are packed on a Sunday. Big, big churches that have the congregations that are overflowing. They just flock, the fellowship just flocks to these churches. And he was part of the ministry. He was part of the music ministry team. And he fell on hard times. 
And when he lost everything, and he became homeless and had to live on the street, the church forgot about him. They abandoned him. The church that he served abandoned him in his time of need, in his darkest hour, where to, today he's burrowed himself a place in, the, in a wooded area where he's hunkered down in such degree weather. And we see that a lot. We see that here on YouTube. And that's why I get discouraged. I do what I can. I do the very best of my ability. Oh, my God. Use me, Father. Continue to use me. I know that this is not an easy, easy task. I don't want to be part of the big followings the popularity we see the same here on youtube we see the laodicean church the church of thyatira the one world religion church the prosperity gospel where you've got pastors that are have 50 60 100 thousand followers and they're on youtube all day they're pumping one video out after the other after the other then they have a live program every single day and they're taking in unbelievable amounts of money but who are they ministering to except youtube and their live shows they're not out there taking care of the least of these the brethren you got the people like paul bagley you've got this stephen ben de noon that is pulling in tons of money video after video thousands and thousands of views and I know he's making in the tens of thousands of dollars. And what is he doing with this money? Who is he helping? Who is he serving? Except himself. He's got everyone believing in this false, it's blasphemy. Gospel, this, uh, he's, this saying gospel, this humane gospel. But it's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's heresy. He has all of his followers believing that he lives in Israel. He does not. He's a fraud and he's pulling the wool right over your eyes. And you've got others. You've got an, Anita Fuentes. What is she doing? Who is she helping? We're a very small ministry. When I make an announcement to who uh, have helped our ministry, do you know that we don't take in in an entire year, what these people take in, in a month, the church, where are, where is our priorities? I can't come on here and just try to uh, snowball you all. That's not what it's about. I just want to be true. I want to bring the truth of the word. I bring people to the forefront as we're commanded to do knowing that I will be hated by all. I will be hated by all. I will be lied about. I'm just tired. I need some encouragement. I do want to thank for uh, yesterday. Nothing has come in today. For January the 3rd, I want to thank Linda for a precious gift of $25 to our homeless and outreach ministry. And I want to thank Christina or $100 to our ministry. We, we are out of everything. If you can't support this one, support another ministry like this. It's not a 501c3. That's not part of that church or that one world religion with no agenda but to help those people that are starving and freezing to that. There's so many fakes here on YouTube. It's like, where's where the masses are running to be? How can you not know? Stephen Benden, who talking about the God of heaven and Mother Earth and Jesus was a vegetarian and he was married and crazy blasphemy. Paul Begley hooking up with you, who the glick? I'm smelling the money, all part of the one world religion, and people are just falling head over heels. I can't be on here. 
12, 15 hours a day. I'm out there. I'm out there in the streets, in the inner cities, and I see the pain. And these are Christians that their own churches, and it's in the world. Churches of the world that have abandoned them. They did it to me and my family and my wife, Christy, when we lost it all. When we had nothing and we were homeless, the church turned its back on us. We couldn't serve them. We couldn't put the money in the in the uh, uh, offering basket. We couldn't tithe 10% of a wage we didn't have because we lost our house. So they were done with us. Church, we got to come back to our first love. And I just need some, just lift me up in prayer. I need some encouragement. I'll feel better later and uh, uh, I'll be back in the morning. I'll put the link to our ministry below.